Hello, thank you for joining me again. This week's Gospel passage is one of those places in John's Gospel where Jesus names himself using something very close to the name of God. There are nine of them altogether, and in each he uses a phrase that means something like, I am that I am. You may know that in the Hebrew Scriptures there's the story of Moses facing the burning bush, having this sense of call to be the one to bring his enslaved people out of Egypt. And he says to the voice that he's experiencing, who shall I say has sent me? And the reply is this mysterious name, the four letters, J-H-W-H, -H, that we're not really supposed to use as a name, though we know kind of what it means, which is, I am that I am. What do you mean, Moses? Who are you? I am me, says God to him. Well, Jesus talks about his people as being his sheep, the ones who recognise his voice and respond to him when he calls them by name. An early thought for us all might well be to ask how can we hear the voice of the shepherd? And it's that question that I would like to encourage you to think about this week. How can you hear the voice of the shepherd? Well, the first part of the answer is perhaps a little obvious, but I guess it does need spelling out, which is that if you want to hear the voice of the shepherd, you're going to have to listen for it. Not just off and on, but by regular practice. Keep asking yourself, where is God in my place, in my time, in my situation, in my relationships? Now, in this very moment, where is God to me now? There's a lovely phrase in Jeremiah's prophecies. It's in the 29th chapter. It says, you will seek me and find me if you search for me. Search with all your heart. So we should seek for God in silent prayerfulness. Not blocking him out with our words, but listening. Seek the echoes of his voice in scripture by regular organised reading. I wish I could go on to say, seek for the voice of God in the gathering of his people, but we're all going to have to wait a little while for that to happen. Jesus says to us, I am that I am the gate. The gate, the way in, the route to God. A gate that stands open and welcoming. Through him we pass into the presence of the life of God and of God's people. He came, he says, to bring abundancy of life. And it is the experience of that gift of life made freely available to us that enables us to be resilient in the face of all that the world can throw at us. Listen for the voice of the shepherd. Bye-bye.